Hey guys, it's Vera, and today I'm going to show you these six lip tars you need to try now. First, I have to ask, what do you think of my new wig? I absolutely love wigs. I have a ton of wigs, and I haven't worn any for a while. And since I was feeling kind of down, I figured I'd stick this wig on, and it kind of cheered up my mood. This is um, Downtown Girl. It's from Gothic Lo Lolita Wigs. They're like subdivision rock star or whatever. And it's Downtown Girl Black and Violet. So it's really long. It's got purple and black. And I think it looks amazing. On to the lip tars. I'm currently wearing... Black Metal Dahlia with a little bit of Super NSFW on top. So I said six shades, so I'm going to show you the metallics first, because I have three metallics and three mattes. This is Black Metal Dahlia. I've been wearing it a ton this fall. I'm going to put a tiny dot on my hand, and then I'm going to basically smear it out. So here's a tiny dot, teeny tiny. So this is Black Metal Dahlia. It's like a blackened burgundy with red pearl. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to show you Super NSFW next. So that's Super NSFW. It's a gold laced red. It's really pretty, very fall appropriate. This is Techno Pagan. It's a blackened purple with blue pearl. And it is not for the mild at heart. I love this color. It pretty much matches my, my actual hair color, which you can't see because of the wig. But I think it's amazing. So that's why it's on my list. I added a little bit more of Super NSFW so you could see it better and see the gold sheen. So those are the three metallic shades. Now I'm going to show you the three mattes. This is Pagan and it's a blackened purple. It's another bold shade but you shouldn't be afraid of it because you can mix these shades. This is Hoochie. I just have one of the older tubes. It comes in the new tube now. And it's called an Extreme Magenta. It's basically one of my favorite pinky purple type shades. And I noticed with my older tubes, I have to really shake them, like to get them mixed up so that the color comes out. So this one is Strumpet and it's a seedless grape red. I think it's more like a burgundy. And these are the six shades that I'm like, yes, you must have. Especially right now for fall, they're so appropriate. And you can basically mix any of these colors together to come up with some really awesome shades. And as you can see, some of these shades are going to migrate, so that's why it's really important to use a base. I'm going to wipe off my hand and I'm going to show you some colors. So when it comes to using bases, David Classfield recommends that you use the Clear Lip Tar Primer. This works really well. You can also use the Lip Tar Pencils, which I really, really, or sorry. <laughs> you can also use the Color Pencils, which I love. These don't work for my eyes, but they are amazing for my lips. So for the lip look I have on right now, First, I primed my lips with the OCC Lip Tar and Clear. Then I used the Tarde, which is the black pencil, to line my, around my lips. Then I filled in my lips with Black Dahlia pencil, which is like a black and burgundy red. But I could have just used the um, Anti Feather, which is the clear lip pencil as the base, and like basically done my entire lips in the clear pencil. Or I could have used NSFW, which is red. But these pencils are awesome. There's a couple different sets on Sephora right now with the pencils. I totally recommend picking them up because they're so versatile for your lips. And, you know, they have a lot of other great shades. This is Lydia, which is like a plum. This is Anime, which is a hot pink. This is Hoochie, which is my favorite because it's a pinky purple. And, you know, basically you can use it with anything you want. This is Grandma, which is a... Which is a this is Grandma, which is a coral... And this is Pool Boy, which is a blue, and I love blues. You can also use something like Too Faced Lip Insurance if you have that and like that, which is clear, and it'll, it'll help things stick. Or you can use something like this. This is Ardency in Boom Base, and it's green. The green doesn't really seem to tint my lips, but it does moisturize them nicely and provide a good base um, before you put on your lipstick, so I like that. So if you want to make Technopagan slightly more like red toned, you can mix in Hoochie and it'll take away some of the shimmer and make it a little more red toned, just as an example. Now if you want to make Black Metal Dahlia more vampy, mix in Pagan, so you'll get like a nice deep sort of wine purpley shade. You can use less to get just like a hint of wine. Try adding just a touch of Pagan to strump it. You get like a nice deep matte wine chain. I'm all about the purples. Sorry, I've got purple on the brain. You can try mixing Super NSFW with just a drop of Black Metal Dahlia. And it just turned into a slightly deeper red, but you still see the strong like gold shimmer and you see the red shimmer now. 
So you get the idea. You can just play to your heart's content and have your own unique shades. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I was really intimidated by the lip tars for the longest time. Then the colored pencils came out and these were game changers for me. I started wearing my lip tars more because these made them easier for me to use. And I guess I also got a lot more in the way of confidence with using them because I had been using lip brushes more for all of my lipsticks so it wasn't like this extra hassle because sometimes I felt like it was just, you know, well it sucks I can't just apply it straight from the tube. I mean that's even why I had made my own um, lip tar pencils because then I could apply them straight from the tube and they were easier to use and less messy on the go and everything. But now that I've gotten more used to using the lip tar pencils with the lip tar, sorry, the color pencils with the lip tars, I really like them. So I do have some tips on application. Like I mentioned, oh, actually, let's back up. First step, take your lips, exfoliate your lips, then moisturize your lips. Let your moisturizer on your lips, your, your lip balm, your whatever, soak in for like, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. Like do your eyes after you put on your, your lip balm and you're letting it soak in. And then once you're done with your eyes, then work on your lips because by that time, all of the moisture will have sucked into your lips and plumped them up and they'll be at their best. But blot off any excess with a tissue if there's any excess like, you know, residue in your lips that you need gone. Then go to a primer such as the OCC Clear. This is, yeah, OCC Lip Tar Primer and Clear. Follow that up with a pencil so that you have like shape to where you're going to be um, applying the lip tar. Then use a brush and work it into your lips. I like to start in the center of my lips and then kind of work out along the edges. Like basically start here, go, work out, work out. And then I use like a tiny bead, like I show you in one of my recent videos. I use like the teeniest, tiniest little bead of product just to start and get it going. And then I will like press my lips together and work more of the product into my lips with a brush. Once I'm satisfied with how the lips look, the latest thing I've been doing is just lightly blotting like I would any regular lipstick with a tissue. And that seems to help keep it from like transferring to my teeth because I don't know if my teeth jut out funny or what it is, but I always end up, if I'm using lip tars and I don't pay attention, I end up with lip tars on my teeth, which is really annoying and kind of embarrassing. So in addition to like taking your fingers and like sticking your fingers in your mouth, popping them out and you know, wipe it off any excess lipstick, I will also use tissue paper to blot them and that seems to help a lot. Okay, so lip tars are 100% vegan and cruelty-free, which is awesome. I absolutely love that. You know that I only support cruelty-free beauty, beauty blend. <laughs> you know that I only support cruelty-free beauty brands on my blog, and I love it whenever a product's vegan because that means there's no animal ingredients, and that means everyone can use it, and so I think that's awesome. There's a uh, large variety of shades. I think lip tars are a great value for the price because you're getting 0.33 ounces of product for $18. And if you look at, say, for example, a MAC lipstick, which is no longer cruelty-free and is 16 bucks for one lipstick and it's only 0.10 um, ounces, you're getting three times the, more, more, sorry, you're getting more than three times the amount of product for only $2 more. So this is a really good deal. The lip pencils are 16 each and they're 0.04 ounces of product. So they're not quite as good a deal as the lip tars, but these do have the added bonus that they can be used anywhere on your face. And if you do not have oily hooded eyelids like I do, you can probably use them on your eyes. There are certain shades that you have to check my review that cannot be used around the eyes, but the majority of these can be used around the eyes. So they have a lot of versatility going on for them, which is nice. So these are the shades that I really think you should try now. I think that they're awesome. I love the versatility. I love that you can mix them together to, you know, tone down a color if you need, if you want. Although why would you? It's fall. Or to make them more intense, more vampy, more dark. Yes, yes, yes. That's what you want to do now because it's fall. Vampy lips. Woo! -hoo. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me your favorite lip tars. Thanks so much for watching.